humans are lazy. So what did we do to make our life easier? Invent bows. To shoot things. But what hits the target? The arrow. In this video I go back to the basics, stop being lazy and go ahead and stab everything I see with one arrow. The rules of this challenge are pretty simple. First off I make a new survival world in normal difficulty and every time I left click I must use an arrow. The seed is pretty good and I instantly see a village, so time to go pillaging. The loot is a bit disappointing. So let's say I did not have any other choice than to cause a mass starvation. With enough bread under my belt I went to check out the desert temple in the distance. And I got a really pleasant surprise. I mean, at least I got some blocks. When I came back later, a couple skeletons spawned, so I tried to make a staircase to load them up so I could get their loot. But they had other plans. I lured one out, and I mean, if you're this pale and you don't use sunscreen, you're just asking to be burned. After going up in flames, it gives me the one thing I need. The best weapon in the game, the arrow. I go back to the village to make sure they all starve by also taking their stored food and then destroy whatever is left of their fields. The iron golem helps me by giving me some more arrows and then defends me against the monsters that try to attack me including this one enderman that I aggro to get a free pearl. But yeah, tough luck. After stealing this guy's bed and then going to sleep and waking back up in the morning, I decide to repay this guy in the best way possible. Stabbing him repeatedly until he gives me his body parts. I then go to the desert temple and get all of the loot inside and I also find a ruined portal on the way. I see a second village in the distance that I immediately go to and after harvesting the body parts of this village's defender I went to check out the other loot. This village has a blacksmith and there's actually some good loot inside. I now have 10 obsidian which means I can make a portal anywhere I want. I go and loot a shipwreck that is absolutely stacked with iron. And I mean, who's going to leave a good potato behind? Not me. I create a portal to hell in the middle of town square and make a flint and steel so I can light it. I spawn in a freaking puzzle delta. I hate this biome with a passion. I kill a stray blaze to get my first blaze rod and then take all of the treasure that I can get. Wither skeletons are pretty scary but for some reason these guys got stuck. I then find the blaze spawner and give it a nice little roof to protect all of the blazes that would spawn. I go ahead and stab them and this guy comes in from behind and almost kills me. This is exactly why I killed your cousin just now. I keep on stabbing the blazes from below until they give me what I want and with 8 blaze rods I go back to the overworld. I decide to enslave this villager so I can get infinite arrows and I buy a couple of stacks because I mean can you ever get enough of these beauties. I go back to the nether to trade for some pearls but I only get bad stuff and I mean no hard feelings. 
I then start on getting the pearls by myself using the boat method. So just catch an enderman in a boat and then stab him repeatedly. After getting my first pearl I make an eye of ender and I get to the stronghold. I'm pretty lucky and the stronghold spawns in the ocean, which means I don't have to spend 10 minutes of my time digging through 20 layers of stone. And I find the portal room really quickly, but now I have to destroy the spawner because silverfish are actually one of the most annoying things in Minecraft. I get to the middle and I start going at it for a couple minutes until it's destroyed. I make a little room next to the portal so if I die I will respawn here and not lose all of my progress and go loot. I find two ender pearls in a chest which I immediately use to craft into eyes of ender and decide to put inside the portal. So that is one and I find a couple of dogs in the nearby woods and after they help me stab this guy I think it's a bit too overpowered so I let them sit down and I never look back. I find a couple endermen in the woods and for some reason they don't want to get in my boat so I have to try again and gently encourage them to get in. After I get two more pearls, I go back to the stronghold and start making a portal. The skeleton tried to stop me, but I'm about to show him what the right way is to use an arrow. As you can see, this guy actually stands no chance at all. I take the rest of my gold for some more shitty trades, enough wood to make boats, and then I'm all good to go. I find the right biome pretty quickly, but my pro look isn't all that good. I honestly think I have killed every single enderman in this forest. The population is now zero. But I mean, you gotta do what you gotta do, and after getting my six pearls, I go back to the overworld. I decide to make the rest of my pearls into eyes of ender and put all of them in the portal. This time I'm a bit more careful though because I don't want to lose another eye of ender because I'm stupid. I light up the portal, get my loot and then jump inside. And this spawn is actually pretty good because I don't have to break any end stone, I just can build up, get to the pillars and then destroy the end crystals. I brought one torch and a bunch of sand so I can place my sand on top of it then go up the pillar and once I'm at the top I can just break the end crystal then MLG down and break the top sand. This way all of the other sand falls down and I can just reuse it over and over again. I broke one break the rest of the crystals of one by one without any like real issues except these ones were a bit harder and the ender dragon tried to kill me at least once. But finally, after destroying the final crystal, it is time for me to stab this dragon in the face. I get closer to it and decide to go from behind so he doesn't eat me up in the air and start dealing massive damage. No, honestly, what, what, what is this damage? He yeets me up in the air one more time, but then finally I can finish him off with enough stabs in the face to make him explode. And now you would think the challenge is over, I mean the Ender Dragon is dead, I'm like dancing, celebrating, there's XP all around, but there is one more thing I must do, get a dragon egg. Because who slays a dragon and then doesn't use their unborn child to make scrambled eggs in the morning? 
I jump in the portal and that is the end of this challenge. Thank you all for watching and if you enjoyed this video make sure that you leave a like, subscribe and leave a comment. I'm planning on doing a lot more of these challenges and I'm actually streaming some of them live as well so make sure that you tune in for that. Bye!